there you go. You have to hold the button? Is that how? No, you don't have to. I'm on? Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, cool. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Hi, everybody. Maria's down here, by the way. She's monitoring the uh, level. There's Maria's hand. Um, she's monitoring the uh, level of the healing. And, and according to the lovely assistant Maria, we're at 45% filled on the uh, helium level. Um, we're checking the plume over here of the escaping helium gas as it exits the superconducting solenoid magnet, which is hungry. And we're filling it with the liquid helium. And our goal today is ultimately to collect some of the leftover liquid helium and use that to solidify some nitrogen. And nitrogen's a very, very nonpolar, very weak intermolecular forces kind of substance, which has to be very, very cold in order to make the intermolecular forces great enough to hold it into a solid state. So we're going to first collect some liquid nitrogen in this doer, this evacuated silver inside doer. We're going to collect some liquid nitrogen to pre-cool it, because ultimately in here we want to collect any excess leftover liquid helium from this tank and put it in here, which would be our source of really cold stuff to solidify our nitrogen. So, but in order to minimize how much helium it takes to cool this down sufficiently, we first want to pre-cool it with some much more abundant, much cheaper liquid nitrogen. So the liquid nitrogen there will take this inner temperature down to about 77 Kelvin or one, negative 196 degrees C or minus 321 degrees F. And the liquid helium will actually be 4 Kelvin, 4 Kelvin units above absolute zero. So I'm going to transfer, while Daniel records me, I'm going to transfer some nitrogen from this tank into this doer. I'm going to take this latex tubing now what's the eye protection? Always important. Latex tubing. I <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm going to transfer this over here. And this latex tubing is actually going to freeze. Daniel's doing a great job. He wants to be a pharmacist, but I think he probably missed his calling in uh, Hollywood or Hollyweird. This is going to take a while. In the interim, it's going to freeze this latex tubing so that I don't even have to hold it. That's how cold this stuff is. Maria looks happy, which means we're feel our, our helium level's going up, obviously. Good for her. Good for us. Good for the magnet. It's good for America. Unlike George Bush. <coughs> Fifty-five percent, says Maria. Wonderful. Daniel's getting some good footage there. Look at that splashy nitrogen. Yeah, we can't see it. Well, that doesn't surprise me. There's an awful lot of nitrogen gas there that's extremely opaque to the light. Okay, well, if you want, we can stop recording and uh, check back later once it's 